Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Denny with ET Online. Check it out. We're Brendan Yuri here at Atlantic Records of Panic at the Disco. What's up, man? How's it going? Too weird to live, too rare to die. That's right. That's awesome. How'd you come up with that title? Uh, I wish I could say it was original. <laughs> we stole that from Hunter S. Thompson. I was watching Fear and Loathing, and I, this was at the end of the record. Uh, all the songs were recorded, and I didn't know how to tie it in with the title of the album, mm -hmm. so there were a couple different options that never stuck. And I was watching that movie, and he said that line, Johnny Depp's character. So it just kind of worked out perfectly. Also perfect because you said you were inspired by your hometown of Vegas, right? Totally. How it so? was almost better. Uh, I was going back and forth the last couple years uh, between LA and, and Vegas. A couple of the trips I would take was just me and my wife. We weren't really club kids, or like wouldn't go dancing or anything. And we finally did. And when I would go before, I kind of had this like bitterness, like I'll sit in the corner, like that's dumb dancing and stuff, like kind of cynical. So and then I just started joining in. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so <laughs> angsty. Yeah. But uh, I started just like realizing I wanted to make music that got people moving like that. It just kind of made them carefree and like dance like no one's watching kind of thing. And that's how I feel about this record. We just came off a tour, a month long tour of like playing smaller clubs, which was awesome. But I wanted, uh, as well as for this Fall Out Boy tour that's coming up, I wanted to do something that was like continuous music because yeah. I went to a couple shows that did that and it blew my mind. Like I was so tired, I didn't realize it till the end of the show. I was like, I just need to pass out. Like I'm so <laughs> sleepy because it didn't let up at all. And uh, I like I like that feeling. So I want to talk about Miss Jackson, first yeah. single off the record. Way to like start it off. You know, yeah. amazing song and even better video. What, what like what inspired that uh, that track? Um, that song lyrically came about from something I actually went through. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Jackson obviously wasn't her name, but um, it worked out because when that came to be uh, in that song, I was working, I was listening to a lot of hip hop. Um, I've always been a fan of hip hop, yeah. but listening to a lot of newer stuff, ASAP Rocky and like Kendrick and a bunch of stuff, Action Bronson even, it was just like all over the place. And I was really inspired by how like there's no rules with a lot of the hip hop tracks because they'll do anything. They'll, yeah. you know, the, uh, sonically, it's really crazy. Lyrically, it's more confessional. And I wanted to do that, I wanted to be more honest. So like, the song is a true thing, it's like a true story. Yeah. Um, kind of built into this narrative. You got your record deal pretty fresh out of high school, you know? Yeah. I mean, you were pretty young when this all started happening for yeah. you. So I wanted to know, like for you, either personally or professionally, what has been the most significant change since that first record? Oh man, yeah, I mean there's been a lot of changes. Yeah. Uh, it was like that period between 17 and 22, 23. Uh, I mean, we were changing a lot. We yeah. completely changed the sound on our second record from our first one. Like, we were um, trying to still figure out who we were as a band and also individuals. Yeah. So, I mean, there were a lot of different things. I think uh, changes for me um, in the positive realm were like getting better at songwriting. That's something that I've always struggled to do is just be a better producer, better songwriter. Um, but probably one of the biggest, most significant things was I was just married five months ago, yeah. which was huge. That was big for me. I thought I was going to be alone for a very long time, <laughs> then I found my wife. That's when the songs just started getting real positive. <laughs> it just started getting it's real. just all that, rainbows and butterflies. That's where that <laughs> dance music started coming. What do you hope they get away from this album, or what do you hope they learn about you? Um, the, you know, like I said, the lyrics are a bit more confessional, sure. so uh, there's a lot of honesty in there, and I think that'll, that'll shine through. It'll be pretty obvious. And uh, that's already stuff to be learned, is like I'm just talking about things that I've really gone through, <clears throat> which was harder for me in the past, I think. It was easier to just make up a story that wasn't true. Um, but this time, like I said before, I think it's gonna be awesome to see the reaction, um, because when I was making this record, I wanted to, I was dancing around the studio, like every song we would do, like even after 100 listens, I was still just really excited. So I, I hope that that translates.